a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Garrow, TV series. Sometimes referred to as, is a Japanese tokusatsu television series broadcast on TV Tokyo from October 7, 2005, to March 31, 2006, lasting 25 episodes. Since 2007, the show has also been aired in other countries such as Italy, Malaysia, and Spain. The show's HD remastered version was broadcast on TV Tokyo starting July 8, 2016. The television series is the first installment of the Garrow Meta series, which is composed of several installments, including a live action television series, films, TV and film specials, and anime series. The television series has been licensed for a North American release by Kraken Releasing. Production The series was created and directed by Keita Amimiya with supporting direction from Makoto Yokoyama and Kengo Kaji. The creature designer was Yasushi Narasawa. Known for his later work as the designer of the Imagine for Kamen Rider Denno, as well as for his work designing the monsters of Kamen Rider Blade and Kamen Rider Kabuto. Plot Garo focuses on the life of Koga Saezima, who has assumed the title of Makai Knight to protect humanity against dark demonic manifestations called horrors, in his quest to destroy them. He encounters a young girl named Karu, whom he saves from a horror, though he learns that she is stained with its demonic blood. As a rule, those that have been stained by the blood of a horror must be killed, or else they will die painfully in approximately 100 days. Koga spares Kaoru and tries to find a way to purify her before her remaining time expires. Thus, the series focuses on Koga's developing relationship with Kaoru and his responsibilities protecting humanity in accordance with the wishes of his father, the previous Garo. In the process, he encounters another Makai Knight named Reisa Zumura, who eventually becomes his ally. Later Koga confronts his father's former disciple who is revealed to be the cause of a recent series of horror attacks in preparation of a more sinister advent of the horror's originator, Messiah. Horrors the main antagonistic form in the series, horrors are demons that reside in a realm known as the Netherworld, and thrive on the darkness of humanity. The horrors enter the human world through everyday objects known as Inga Gates, which are created through a mass of darkness. When the horrors first come through, they also known as Inga Horrors, and must possess the body of the first human within a darkness they come across. Because the horrors feed on humans it is a Makai Knight's duty to hunt and slay the demons. Later entries in the series reveal more types of horrors. Video Games A video game based on the series was produced by Bandai for the PlayStation 2, under the name Golden Knight Garrow. Two versions were released, a normal version with the game disc, instructions, and standard pamphlets and a more expensive limited edition version which came with a green fiery color of the metals Aruba ring from the Equip and Prop Volume 1, Garo Toy. A mobile game titled was released on May 27, 2016. Commemorating the 10th anniversary of the Garo franchise, the game includes all characters from the live-action series and the anime series. Red Requiem in July 2009, Tohoku Shinsha Film announced that a Garo feature film will be released in the fall of 2010. It was theatrically released on October 30, 2010. The story is a sequel to the original TV series. With Keita Amamiya reprising his role as head director, Yosaiko Nishi and Irona Bukagi Ama reprise their roles as Koga slash Garo and voice of Zuruba with Makoto Yokoyama returning to choreograph the action sequences as well. Red Requiem uses 3D image technology developed by the Tohoku Shinsha Group Company Omnibus Japan for its visual effects. Sukoku no Maru was released in theaters on February 23, 2013, serving as an epilogue to Makai Senki, 
depicting Kogo Saezima's journey to the promised ground to retrieve Gajari's body. Yosai Konishi was initially the only confirmed member of the cast, but Rei Fujita, Shuma Yamamoto, Ozuno Nakamura, Yuki Iro Hotaru, Hironobu Kagiyama, and Hiroyuki Watanabe were later confirmed to appear in the film. Guest stars include Yuki Kubota as Kakashi, Anna Aoi as Meru, Tetsuya Yanagihara as Esaruto, and Keiko Matsuzaka as Judum. Yemio Terasumono A third TV series titled was broadcast on April 5, 2013. The series is set in the near future, and features an entirely new story with a new Garo named Ryuga Dugai venturing into horror-plagued Volume City. The series also presents a brand new main cast that includes Wataru Kyoziyama, Tsunanori Aoki, Junior Ikeda and fashion model Miki Nanri. Tugan no Fuei In March 2013, the Garo team announced a new film titled, which was released on July 20 of that year. Set during the time of Sukoku no Maru, Tugan no Fuei follows Makai Priestess's Jabi, and Rekka as they travel to the northern forests to protect the mystical and titular flute. Yasusato, Mary Matsuyama, Masahiro Kanuki, and Kanji Tsuda reprise their roles from the franchise as Makai Priestess Jabi. Makai Priestess Rekka, Makai Priest Shiguto, and Makai Knight Kengi, respectively, also appearing in the film are Kumi Takeuchi and Miku Uno. Zero, Black Blood, is a spin-off six-episode miniseries starring Rei Fujitu as his character Rei Suzumura from the original TV series. Rounding out the cast are Rei as Yuna, Naoki Takeshi as Kane, and Thane Kamu as Ring. Keita Amamiya serves as executive director, with Ryu Kanada directing and Yasuko Kobayashi writing. It was broadcast in March 2014 and shown in theaters in a limited release. Jam Project performed the opening theme, Zero Black Blood, and Fujita's Band Dusts performs the ending. Makai no Hana A fourth Garo television series titled, which was broadcast in April 2014, takes place between Makai Senki and Yamio Terasumono, with the exception of Yukihiro Hotaru reprising his portrayal of Gonza. It features a new cast consisting of Masai Nakayama as Raigo Saizima, the son of Koga and Kaoru who inherited his father's title as the Golden Knight Garo, Atomo Mizuishi as Crow the Phantom Knight, and Natsumi Ishibashi as Mayuri, a mysterious tool with mystical powers that takes the form of a young woman. Anime Television Series An anime adaptation of Garo was released in October 2014 titled in Japan as. It is produced by Studio Mappa and directed by Yuichiro Hashi, taking place in the fictional country of Valiante in the Middle Ages. Head writer Yasuko Kobayashi explained that, with the exception of Zaruba, it is unrelated to any characters or stories in the rest of the Garo continuity. The series has been licensed by Funimation as Garo, the animation making it the first Garrow installment to see a North American release. A second series titled, Taking Place in Japan's Heian Period, was announced for a 2015 release. Alongside a film sequel of the first series titled Garrow, Divine Flame, to coincide with the Garrow 10th anniversary, a film sequel of the first series titled was released in theaters on May 21, 2016. A third series titled was released in October 2017. An untitled film sequel of the second series is in production. Goldstorm Show is both a film and a television series that serve as sequels to Yamio Terasumono. Wataru Kyoziyama and Miki Nanri reprise their roles and are joined by new cast members. Among them Masahiro Ino as the series antagonist Zinga. The film adaptation was released in theaters on March 28, 2015, while the television series was broadcast from April 3, 2015. 
Ashura is a special episode, with the Garo production team collaborating with New Japan Pro Wrestling to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Garo franchise. It features Hiroshi Tanahashi as Goki and Togi Makabe, and was broadcast in Japan on July 1, 2016, taking place between Makai Senki and Makai no Hana. Kara tells a young Raiga the story of one of the first Makai Knights to bear the Garo title, Goki. Oh, Dragon Blood. A brand new television series about Rei Fujita's character Rei Suzumura was originally announced as one of many new projects the Garo Project team were working on in 2015 and it was originally just known as Zero. In June 2016, it was announced that the series would be titled to be broadcast in Japan on January 6, 2017. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?